Calling everyone. Calling everyone. Stop. Look. Listen. And this means you and you and you. The age of speed, the lure of easy money, the hectic rhythms of life and high gear, all these have made the state motor police or highway patrol essential for your protection. On the highways and byways of our land, there are dangers and hazards far more perilous than a patch of broken concrete, a sharp curve, or some sudden traffic obstruction. Crime and vice may often take on the guise of the innocent hitchhiker. The gunman or his female counterpart, the highway mall, professional extortionist and blackmailer, may hail you at the next turning with, going my way, mister, a dangerous call. From such as these, the ever-vigilant highway police seek to protect the unwary. And as a warning to fathers with good sons, and to mothers with pretty daughters, the producers of this picture have drawn directly from the official police records the amazing and almost unbelievable story presented in Highway Hell. Now listen, Cottontop, the other girls are really out so see if you can bring in something. Get it? All right. <laughs> Thanks, oh Lord, we didn't have those in my days. Look at this place. When I'm not around here, everything goes wrong. People staying in here all night. And Jimmy not taking care of the things that I'm supposed to have around here. Look at this. I'm not going to stand for this way like I see him. I'm going to tell him a thing or two. And they call that music. Why, even the nickel gets stuck. No, it ain't like it used to be. What's that, sister? You going my way, mister? Gosh, I... Yes, so same. you're pretty. You don't mind riding with Elizabeth, do you? What's Elizabeth? That's McCann. Pop in, sister. But they were ladies. Quiet! Something's wrong. Short circuit or something. I never could understand them. Oh, look at this mess. Just wait till I see Jim. Hmm. That's funny. A.J. I remember. This kid used to come in here quite a bit. And then she got married. To a nice guy, too. Say, last night I saw her in here with a slicker. Four flusher. Yeah, I can tell by the size of the tip. And now her husband works all night a truck driver. And she works all night, <coughs> well, Kind of different. Oh, well. Easy money, easy virtue. Oh, everything is all mixed up around here. Guys running around with other people's wives. Wives running around with anyone they can pick up. And women drinking whiskey straight. And men, oh, what's it all coming to? If I didn't have to make a living, I'd retire and... Thank you. 
Hey, Pop, what's the matter with this thing? I'm scared of the dead. Ah, oh, no. That's good music. The nickel just stuck. Drink for the girls, Pop. Quick. Make mine straight. Mine too. Whiskey. Whiskey. Make mine double. Scotch and soda. Pop, I want your salt. Uh huh. It tastes bad. What the? Well, that's all he had. Oh, for the love of mine. Well, anyway, it's me. Oh, I'll take mine on a platter. Take it away. beer, gas, and a pair of dighties long before you were dry behind the ears. I know what you're trying to ask me, but let me tell you something. You're around here with a lot of young girls, and what's more, you're placing them in different spots all the way up and down the highway, even rented one of my cabins, under a different name, of course, and I didn't see you enter either, but I did see a lot of strangers, and I don't like it, see? You're enticing a lot of girls into a rotten living. Hmm. Listen to you talk like a reformer. We're all trying to make a living, aren't we? Besides, so, these girls are experienced. By who? Who do you think? You. How do you do it? You know, I think the trick of the whole thing is they think they're going to get rich and have a lot of fun doing it. So, if they want to think that and give me the dough for putting them in the right spot, Okay. Get out. Funny 
smell around here. But it's gone now. How come you look so early? We're going for a swim. I uh, thought I might bum a buck off here. You know, we're going down to the pool. Vacation? Sure, I forgot. Here you are. Have a good time, son. You've worked hard. Listen, baby, you haven't been doing much lately. I want you to snap into it, see? You're telling me? Yeah, get it? And don't forget the picnic. Now, look how the business. Going my way, mister? Would you try to give us the business? We need the business. Let's have some animation. Put it in there. Now, let's see it again. Going my way, mister? Good luck, sister. And don't forget to bring them to the picnic. Where are you going? Well, uh, I don't know. Just as far as you like. Well, okay. Let's go. Going my way, mister? Where are you going, sister? Going my way. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on. and onions, see, but cabin rent is due tonight. Don't forget the picnic. <laughs> What's the matter, sour foot? What do you want to do? Work for pennies all your life? If you do, I'll send you back home. I don't want to go home. I... I can't go home. Oh, stop squawking. High pocket. Come out. Look after the f***, will you? Okay. Why, well, leave it to me. You can do it, babe. Going my way, mister? 
What do you mean going my way? No one. I'm going to Center City. I, my mother's awfully sick, and I thought you might take me. Center City? Well, I'm going that way. I'm a little embarrassed at doing these kind of things, but not exactly what I'm used to doing. Oh, well, don't cry, little girl. After all, maybe the drink could fix you up. Oh, oh, sure, sure. All right, come on. What's holding it? They operate? The smell. Now these girls, I'll place them along on the highway, say ever, uh, oh, two or three hundred feet. I got six of them. Well, that's, uh, oh, approximately eighteen hundred feet. I figure if they can't make a pickup in that distance, I'll let them go and get a new crew. I know where to get them, too. See, I'm established now. They like to work for me. I make money. They make money. I have a nice car, I have nice clothes, we do the hot spots. You know, a car like this, you don't get the five and dime. Ah, boy, it's great life. I'll work hard, but I make money. Why shouldn't I make money? After all, I'm tired of working for, for pennies, for peanuts. That, 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 quite like you. Innocent. Oh, well, I've been around. So have I. But I never once met a kid, a fellow like you. Haven't you? Come on, baby. You do too, Bob, to me. You remind me of things. Things I've missed. Missed? That's it, Bob. Oh, you know, the smell of something nice. Fresh air, sunrise. Be beautiful in the mountain with a highway. All my life I've wanted to be serious. Oh, forget it, I have to. I'm in business. 
I, I don't understand you. You will. Well, what's this, a tryout? Well, you see, we were... That's I... okay, kid. Bill of the Twelve Girl. I just want to tell you, I heard your dad's looking for you. You seem kind of mad. Ah, but take it easy, kid. You're born to make a lot of dough. We're pals, see, and we're going to see that you get a break. Gosh, I never met any folks like you before. Sure, I know. And with the looks of you, you can make some real dough. And I, personally, would see you do it. Gee, thanks. I think it's a swell idea. Well, uh, so long, Jeff. So long. Well, sick, huh? No. No, not what you mean. What's the matter, Billy? Fall for this kid? I guess it's business. Keep it that way. Look, we get this kid set up, thing will be swell. With the taverns and the cabins of the swell hookup, I won't have to book the gang to have Tom, Dick, and Harry. This will be our headquarters. We've got to work fast, see. In six months, we'll clean up and move out and take a real vacation. Or a cruise. I don't know. Don't tell me you fall for this kid or I'll blast you. You and me belong in this racket and you know it. I got a heart, see? Yes, Tim. Don't call me names, Dave. This tin will be gold. I'll see to that. With this place in our midst, it's a cinch. Come on, baby. Cover up. he is. You know, Barbara, one day I'm going to tan his hide as big as he is. <laughs> oh, I understand that he's going to the pool with you folks, right? Well, I should be. I gave him a couple of bucks. But we've already been there. You have? Oh, you know, he kind of likes you. You? Oh, I... I guess so, Dad. <laughs> Fine. You know, I always wanted a daughter. Well, how long, Dad? Bye. Hello, Barbara. So long, Dad. Bye, Barbara. Bye, Dad. Nice kid. You wouldn't know. Oh, get off your high horse, Pop. Makes me a fit. Raleigh, Pop. Is that a nice way to treat a lady? Lady? Don't get smart. I will eventually. And listen, I want you to move out. Is that a threat? You heard me. Oh, Pop, listen. I want to be friends with you. You know, um... You and your son would make a swell combination. Funny part of it, Pop. For the first time in my life, I genuinely like the guy. My son? What's wrong about that? With you? So what? I'll tell you. You don't belong. You can't. You're finished. My son is just starting out. His whole life is before him. He can't. And he won't have anything to do with your kind. Oh, Pop, listen to me. If he hasn't told you. Ever since I've been here on the highway, I've been meeting him. We've been together for years. The funny part of it is, for the first time in my life, I'm really in love. Love? 
Why you talk? Quiet, Pop. Oh, I'm not so bad, really. I could be really good. If you call it decent. If I had a chance. You had your chances. Too many of them. No, I didn't. And you're not going to stand in my way. Yes, even Slavic is out. That guy only has to snap his fingers and you jump anytime, anywhere. No, no, not this time. Oh, I'm I'm asking for your help. Get out. Get out on the highway where you belong. drunk and young. Like you said, Pop, I made the boys show me their driver's license. Say, it must have been their dads. But how can I tell? But the girl was so young. Say, at two o'clock in the morning, she looked old enough. You gotta be careful, Jim. I can't be everywhere. What with the cabins and... Say, Geronimo? Yeah, all except one. And I'm moving her out in the morning. And this time they're tourists. How can you tell? Oh, I checked your auto license. Besides, I can tell. They look married. Say, at four o'clock in the morning, they all look that way. Get wise, Pop. On this highway, it's that fast turnover in the couple train. Make sure you're real living. Listen, Jim. If I had known what was really going to happen when I took this place, what would the oldsters Seeking on the youngster, the lion, I never would have opened it. You see, Jim, my son is my living. Listen, Paul. You're getting kind of old. You better think of yourself. He is. Myself. Don't talk that way. Why not? 
I've got to make money fast, see? I'm just not the plotting sort. In spite of everything, I, I'm learning something. Yeah. I was afraid of that. You know, Bob, your mother and I always wanted you to be close to me. Just like this. Oh, I don't aim to order you around. But like your mother said, listen to me. I'm afraid I have that. Look, we're not folks. We're just trash and always have been. I got a way to make some real money. Is that all your life means? That sums it up, Dad. Look, we've been nothing. I'm running around now with some swell folks that have the cash, and that's all it means nowadays. Listen, you've got a swell place here. You could clean up. We could make a lot of money for, say, well, six months. Then what we got to see? Got what? Well, we work at right money. Is that all you're after? That's everything, ain't it? That's awfully cheap, son. But it's a living, Dad. A living. You're thinking wrong, son. Oh, I know about you and Billy. She's no good and she never will be. Oh, don't be shocked. I'm trying to teach you something. Teach me. You've raised me in a saloon. Dad, I don't mean to talk to you this way, but you have no right talking to me. You're just a... bartender. Just a... bartender, eh? That's all, isn't it, son? I schooled you, raised you, it took money to do that. I had to earn it the only way I knew how. Shuffling drinks, huh? Son, I'm your father. Sure you are, Dad. But you just don't belong. This is the modern age. Speed, fancy. You're an old timer. Now these cabins, your tavern belongs to the modern age. Wake up, Dad, or else you're out. Say, listen, I got a date. I'll see you later. Who is? With Barbara. Bob. What is it? Well, don't be angry. What makes you act so funny lately? I'm not acting funny. I'm just kind of busy. You mean with that lady? With Mr. Slavic? Sure, why not? It's business. Does your father know? What if he does? What if he doesn't? Gee, Barbara, I never realized what a kid you are. Bob, I want to tell you something. Will you listen? I'm in a hurry, but go ahead. I like the way that Mr. Slavic looked at me by the pool. He looked sort of funny like. Like he had something on his mind about me. You're crazy, Barbara. Why would he want to look at a kid like you? You're young and unsophisticated. He has plenty of girls. <laughs> You're still a kid. Well, so long. Bob! Don't worry, Barbara. He's upset. I just gave him a dressing down. But he's acting so strange lately. Not at all like him. Oh, I know. I know. But Saint Heart never won anything. Why, even in my younger days, the women had to take the bull by the horn. Now, you run along to the picnic, and maybe things might happen. Gosh, Pop, you might make me feel awfully brave. <laughs> I'm the guy that works hard to get you in touch with the real money. Think that over. I'm going over to Grove. See you later.
one. Saying I still ain't seen the big money he was talking about. And where are those rich guys he was going to put us wise to? Well, it's better than working for pennies, ain't it? Before I met him, I was head girl in my department. Doing what? Slinging hash, the vulgar call it. I was a professional, a dancer. Where? Elmsburg. And I was the only one who could do single time, double time, and triple step. They said I was a sensation. Then what are you doing here, in this racket? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm working my way toward Hollywood. There's millions of your kind there. You gotta have a pull. I have one. A personal letter to Central Casting in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you don't believe me. <laughs> well, look. To Central Casting Hollywood. Dear sirs, I read in the papers you have 10,000 girls there. And sending my daughter, a great dancer. We call her the Peppy Bombshell of Elmsburg. So you won't have to look for more. I know you will take good care of her. Thanking you for her coming success, Mrs. Emily Lee. <laughs> <laughs> How could a mother possibly write a letter like that? Why are you here? Cause? Cause why? Cause of a quarrel? Then a divorce? Mother died. Daddy left. And I couldn't stand the other folks. So I run away. Oh boy, it's well here. Don't you kind of like trees like this? And, and what? Well, just being here. Is it fun living in the country? Well, kind of. Maybe, but not as much fun as being like you are. You think not? Well, you get all the clothes you want, swell cars, excitement, and a well, lot to do. Lots to do. Yeah, I'm afraid so. What makes you say a funny thing like that? Oh, I don't know. I'm talking out of my head again. Only I... I am sort of afraid of... What? You afraid? Mm -hmm. Just about everything. But you. Hi, Barbara. Hello. I see if you're fooling around with something a lot older than he is. Oh, Ted, to, to Bob it's just business. Oh, Barbara, when are you going to wake up? The guy's falling hook, line, and sinker. Look, why don't you go to the dance with me tonight? Forget Bob. You know, uh, behind his back, all the fellas are laughing. What a sucker he is. And you, too. I am not. Why all this gum showing? Snooping. Spying on it from behind trees. I'm not spying. So long, I'm sucker. Oh, don't interrupt me. You're sort of like a, a fledgling, just about to drop off into space. I, I'm older, but I feel sort of the same way. Only 
different somehow. That's a funny feeling, isn't it? Well, Barbara, peeking? Mr. Slavik, I wasn't peeking. Honest, I wasn't. Yes, you were, too. You're quite a big girl for that. You know, you just about the prettiest girl I ever met. Oh, Mr. Slavik. Oh, cut the mister. I mean it. You know, you have a lot of charm and grace. You know, if you'd like to be my, well, one of the girls, uh, you can make a lot of money fast, see? Well, I know time at all, you see. But I'd never think of leaving home. Oh, of course not. But you know, just to show you what a pal I am to you and your boyfriend, Bobby, I'd like to take you to dinner tonight. We'll go to some swell place, you know, music and dancing, the marquee, no less. Oh, but I couldn't. I haven't got a dress to wear. Well, come as you are. You'd like to dance with Bobby, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. That's a date. I'll send him over, you tell him. Hello, you two. Oh, hello. Say, Barbara's waiting for you over by the tree. You better go see what you want. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Listen, kid, we're all set. This time, our headquarters are the wagon wheel cabins. The wagon wheel cabins? Sure, why not? I'll frame this. You'd like that, wouldn't you? And if I didn't? Oh, snapped out of it. Once we get the old man in the palm, we're all set, see, like I told you. By the way, I've got uh, Barbara and uh, Bob set for a date. You work fast, don't you, Slavic? Nothing passes me up. Hello, Barbara. Hello. Slavic said you had something to tell me. I have, Bob. It's about a dance tonight at a small place, and we're both invited. Don't talk that way, Pop. You're running a joint and you and me know it. 
And if you don't play the game, all they have to do is take these out of the DA's office and you lose your life. You wouldn't want to give that up, would you, Pop? Why, that's kind of below the belt. You mean foul, huh? Well, you have to do it. This is the modern age. Speed, fast. Yeah. That's what he said. Who? My son. Sure, they learn young nowadays. You see, Pop, get your boots and saddles. You're on the highway. And if you keep your nose clean, you can make money. If not, pour me a whiskey straight. Why, you couldn't do this. It's my son's future. And Barbara's too. It's not a matter of losing my license. It's their life. If you have a spark of decency in you, you'll help me. After me, you come first. It's the only way to make a living. Listen, I remember a saying when, well, I was studying. And that saying said, it's better to make a life than a living. Struck me as kind of beautiful. Can't you feel that? That sounds good to me. Listen, Pop, in this rum dum business, it's better to make a living. Of course, if you don't want it, there's still... I'm moving the girls in tomorrow. So it's better to make a life than a living, huh? See you tomorrow, Shakespeare. <laughs> I thought I'd find you here. Why, Debbie, you should be. That's you, Bob, and Barbara. Aren't you ashamed, drunk as Barbara? Now you're in the gutter, and I was told by your supposed friend I'd lose my license. And if it saves you, I will lose it. You don't know what you're talking about. This must have been an accident. Slime will fix things. He has. Your life is ruined before it started. I've got to close the place. Maybe I never should have been what I have been for you. You're getting old. You don't know how to run a place like this. Let me do it. You? Sure, I got modern ideas. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I'm wrong because you think. You're wrong. No, I'm not. I'm sick of always having you preaching to me. You're always giving me a harangue. And doesn't that mean anything? Nothing. I've got a chance to get ahead. Even Slavic says that. And until things get right, I'm moving out. I couldn't lick you for that. Why don't you? Bob. Bob's son. It wasn't you I hit. It was what you stood for. Go away. Haven't you done enough? I'm afraid I have. Poor kid. That's the trouble. The kid. The poor. Oh, Pop, I know all about the trouble, and I'm here to help honest. You. Oh, Pop, listen, it was a frame-up. There's nothing wrong between this kid and Barbara. It was Slavic's idea. And I'm sick of it. Honestly sick of it. They were trying to rob you of your license, and I... I kind of helped him. I'm telling you, this is the only thing I've ever done that... Decent. Decent. Please believe me. Good work, Billy. You're a swell on tipping myths. Sorry, folks. Stay there, you two. It's all mine now. No partners. You never could be true, could you, Billy? You wanted a vacation. Well, I'm sending you on a trip. A real cruise. much.
Captain Rowan, Sergeant? matter, son? Your chin still hurt? Yeah. There was a swell blow, Dad. I guess it sort of woke me up. No. This ain't a business. You see, as old as I am, you taught me something young. And as young as you are, you taught me something twice as old. I didn't tell you, Bob. But I found those snapshots of you and Barbara, and I burned the negative, and that's the end of that. You see, Bob, experience is the foundation on which we build. For instance, this highway love, the oldest profession in the world, in a new setting, the modern highway kind, the kind that takes you unawares and in unexpected places, is the most vicious in this pleasure-crazy world. But it's something we cannot close our eyes to, if we would build character, to overcome it, we must act quickly. Let us keep our highways, the byways of life, clean. And we can do it if each and every one of you will do your part.